two, a one, two, three, four. So, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good to see you again. We'll have one last series or one last session on suits before we move on to the long awaited sport coat uh, review session. So, what do I have on today? Uh, it's a micro hand suit. Some people will call it a poppy tooth or a dog tooth, and it's denoted by uh, it's almost like a check, but it's got like some like, checks with jagged edges. Uh, it's a very, very classic design. Uh, from afar, it looks like gray, but on very, very close inspection, uh, you get to see the beautiful. Uh, very 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 soft tiny patterns to it. What do I have it on with today? It's a monochromatic scheme which is black and white. In this case black with a creamish background. And what I've done is that I've used the house to tie as well. This is a house to tie. It's a jacquard made from jacquard silk. It's marine blue with navy blue patterns on it. So it's again you have hound suit on the suit and it's a hound suit tie but that way there is no visual conflict between the fabric in the coat and the fabric of the tie. Yet you have a similar pattern, hound suit on the tie, hound suit on the suit. Look at the suit is a simple double breasted six on two, cut very nicely, classic shoulders, nice size lapels. Everything falling nicely in the back. Tell me, could that so that's about it. Be Mac the night. In our addition to the suit series, I uh, decided to touch on a subject that is somewhat controversial in the gentleman's dressing circles. And that is a question of the brown suit. Uh, there are those who swear that one should not be seen in a brown suit. And there's the old English adage, uh, no brown in town, which comes from, uh, uh, I suppose, uh, decades or centuries ago of uh, English tradition. However, uh, brown suits are worn regularly uh, in the US, of course, and, and I think parts of uh, continental Europe. What we have on here is a dark brown, almost chocolate brown uh, suit with sort of gray freckles. It's cut out of uh, uh, Smith Woolens. Drapes quite well, uh, hangs quite well, good weight, 13 ounce there about. And uh, I think it turned out quite okay. Uh, the trick, of course, is that if you're going to go with a brown suit, first of all, uh, you can't wear it to certain meetings. It depends on the, the seriousness of the meeting. I mean, you certainly can't wear it. I wouldn't wear it to a board meeting uh, or a very uh, serious client facing meeting. Uh, but I will wear it to the office on sort of uh, a casual day. Uh, certainly for social events, I would wear it. But it's certainly not something that conveys uh, gravity or gravitas that you would wear uh, in certain diplomatic circles or certain very, very serious business circles that call, call for uh, the typical somber navy or gray suit. So that's it. Let's have a look. Very traditional. Well, traditional would be six button, but uh, as I understand it, the Italians have a, a slight preference for a five button, so there you have it. Uh, there's the idea that a six button uh, essentially is too full in the front and essentially usurps most of the tie and the shirt space. So it's almost a monochromatic look in the sense that you've got brown, you've got blue, and then that's it, and then the rust tie. Today we're going to look at the Solaro. The Solaro is uh, it's a cotton fabric. It's basically it's cotton. It's just got these uh, patterns over it. It's sort of a, a very warm herringbone pattern with with red overtones. It's a typical summer suit, very light. Uh, this one is made out of Loro Pianas. I believe it's about 220, 225, uh, 30 gram. The fit. The back. Slip pitch. Overall fit. This is, this is what you call a hand padded lapel. This is all hand padded. You can see the hand stitching behind it. And hence, when you open up the button, the lapel just sings, basically, just on four. Yes, we oh, we what I have 
have on is a cream double breasted Irish linen suit. And so let's have a look. It's cotton double breasted style. Very Neapolitan cut again. Soft shoulders. The back. It's not something you would wear to the to serious business meeting. Certainly you can wear it to the office on a, on a Friday or perhaps on the weekend. Uh, in the summer, if you're the boss, of course, you could wear it uh, during, you know, during the week. So what I've done is kept everything else pretty simple, pretty all the other colors, very basic, and just a lot of it. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and I uh, look forward to bringing you more of these videos. Uh, please, if you like these tutorials, if you find them valuable, please subscribe to, to the channel, subscribe to OK Bespoke YouTube channel. And please feel free to pass on the good words to your friends. Uh, thank you for watching again. Have a good day.